Just checking to see which way the air is blowing because we're about to go on a balloon flight. That's right, I did that incredibly stupid dumb joke for this video here. I went there, okay? Deal with it. Anyway, <laughs> guys, today uh, we're checking out balloon, balloon Flight. And what is Balloon Flight? Well, this is a new Switch game uh, that is available for $5.99 normally. As of this video posting, it's currently $1.99. So if this looks fun to you, you can get it for 2 bucks on the Switch right now. So, what is Balloon Flight? Balloon Flight, it's just fun to say. I, I keep wanting to say Balloon Fight, the old NES game where he plays little dudes like ballooning around. But Balloon Flight... Uh, does indeed involve balloons where you have a balloon gun, you shoot balloons onto things uh, to make them float in the air, and you pop balloons to bring them back down. It's a bit of a, a physics game, but it's not a puzzle game. It's more of a uh, physics sandbox with uh, a raft, right? Uh, you have this like floatable air raft that you can attach balloons to that has motors attached to it with fans. It blows you around this island, and the whole point of it is you are high score chasing, trying to get as far as you can. And it's actually pretty fun. I, I wasn't sure what to expect from this when I loaded it up. I was like, oh boy, this looks like very, very gimmicky. But actually, it's pretty cool. Um, we got this very hokey uh, music playing on the title screen, which I think fits the game very well, actually. Uh, just to show you the statistics here, it'll keep track of all your statistics in the game. You can see I've done five runs so far, which is not a ton, but enough to actually explain what this game is. Um, I'm actually going to move my... Uh, let's see, where are you? Here we go. I'm going to move my webcam down so you can see the stats. But as you can see here, um, you have your overall statistics. You know, you got your overall runs. I did five of them. How many rings I've hit so far? Six. Um, how many balloons I've spawned? Total 303. I like that it keeps track of that stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, runs with the most distance, though. Uh, the one that I had with the most distance was 2,302 meters and three rings spawned 50 balloons. So, I like that it keeps track of all that stuff. That's pretty fun. Um, we're going to hit back here, though. We're going to jump into the actual game so you can see what this is all about. Uh, making sure my webcam is not covering up the inf uh, important information like our meters and time. So, um, as you can see here, it gives you a little bit of a how-to. You know, you could spawn balloons with a trigger. So, you just create balloons on this piece of wood like that. And then you can actually attach balloons to balloons, which is just meta and silly, right? And there you go. See you later. But at any point, you can actually pop those said balloons. Oh, my God. It's going to hit us in the head. Bonk. And bring it right back down. Uh, we're going to actually play around with these objects more in just a second because the sandbox st st uh, stuff that's in the game, I think, might actually be my favorite part about it. Not that this uh, part over here is not fun. Uh, but I like setting stuff up and then bringing it down. I don't know what it is, but there's just something really fun about it. Um, so we're going to do that in just a second here. Um, so the main crux of the game is you got this air raft over here that's got these fans, right? And you can step on these fans, and they'll start. And these fans will blow you around when you're up in the air. Uh, so you start attaching balloons to your raft. And you got to throw a couple more in the back to sort of compensate for the large motor that's in the back. It does take weight and stuff into account, so keep that in mind. Uh, going forward here, though, you'll see these white rings. Uh, part of our whole thing uh, that we're trying to accomplish is go through those rings and get more time on the board. So you actually see up in the top left, it says we got two minutes. Now, uh, one of my gripes with this game is I wish the UI you could actually see a little bit better because there's a lot of bright blue and white in the background. Uh, I don't know if, like, a nice gray would have done well to show up on most everything. Um, but, you know, when you're seeing here, you can't see your time very well. Even in the blue, you can't see your time very well. Uh, and you can't see your meters very well. And sometimes when you're uh, going through the air on the raft, you can't see those circles very well either. So it's hard to kind of, you know, uh, sort of uh, guess whether you're going to actually hit that thing or not. All right, let's get this uh, air raft in the air. What do you guys say? So, you do, like I said, it does take weight into account. We're going to start the motor. And at this point, you can see the raft is kind of pointing up. So we're going to destroy a couple balloons. Hopefully, we can hit this first circle here. Bring another couple down real quick just so we hit that and get some extra time. Grab a couple balloons, pop them right there. Boom, there we go. We got some added time. That is what we want. Okay, we need to come up quick, though. We need to bring that front end up quick. 
because we're coming up to this next island. We want to get that next circle. It's sort of like a... Uh, oh, we got to bring this over to that side a little bit. We hit that fan, it's going to send us that way. Oh, come on down. I think we're going to sail right over. Yeah, we did not get that one. We'll try better on the next one. Uh, but yeah, if you hit these fans, you'll see it will send your raft over a bit with the fan that's running, which is kind of nice. Okay, we need to go down. We may even need to pop a couple of these. So you are going to be constantly managing this air raft. Like, if if you are into that kind of thing, you're going to like that. Hey, we get another one? We did. Okay, so we're, we're, doing, we're not doing too bad here. We're not doing too bad. My first run on this thing was awful. Like, I... <laughs> I didn't make it. We got, you know, we got pretty much thrown off of it, and I fell to my death, which is pretty silly. Um, okay, so this one's going to be tough, though, because we got these blocks that really want to take out our wrap. So we're going to pop back up. We going to get that one? We did. Okay, so pop back up. Don't let the boxes hit us. Oh, we need a couple to balance this thing out. So as you can see, this is actually pretty fun. It's very, uh, you know, it's it's a lot more uh, tense filled or tension filled than I was actually expecting because you were trying to keep. Oh, I fell off. See, that's why you got to keep that thing level. We fell off, and we did not make our longest route. So we're just gonna keep falling here. That thing is gonna keep heading up. I wonder if we can we pop we can pop the balloons as we're going. But any minute now, yeah, we're gonna hit here. Um, so that distance we just hit. Uh, 1878, we got three rings, so we matched our amount of rings from the last one, but I got a bit further uh, on a past try there. So, we're going to hit retry here, and we're let, you know what we're going to do here uh, now is we are going to actually play around with uh, some of the physics stuff in the sandboxy area, and I, I really like this area. It's really fun to play around with. Um, you can attach a ton of balloons to this, like, metal ball that's right here, right? And that thing, this thing is heavy. So we're going to attach some balloons to the balloons. And then we're going to attach some balloons to those balloons. And you can see it kind of wants to take off. There it goes. There we go. We finally got that thing in the air. Look how many balloons that thing took, though. It's not moving quick. So that's pretty fun. I, I Like I said, I really like the sandbox, sandboxy approach to some of the stuff in here. Uh, I, I honestly would really like a... Um, there we go. We're waiting for that. So that, I guess, will shoot you up in the air. So let's try that. I haven't actually played around with this yet. Here we are. Wow, it shoots you way up in the air. Way up. That's pretty fun. But yeah, uh, I kind of wish that there was uh, a, a little bit of a more, like, puzzle aspect to parts of this, this game. Like... You know, I really like that they put in the, the high score chasing area here with the raft. I think that's a lot of fun. But I, I would have really liked, like, another section that had a few, like, puzzle things that you had to figure out. You know, if they were, like, you know, land. Like, uh, over here, you can actually order some of these things, like this thing here. You can get, like, a little cart thing. And it would be it would be fun if it was, like, you know, roll the cart down a, a hill and then use balloons to sail across a ravine and land it in this, this bin or something. You, you know, just stuff like that I think would be really, really cool. Um, but we can actually jump on to this thing. And we're going to try to take ourselves up. It'll take a lot of balloons, huh? I think we're... We're going up. Here we go. We are going up for sure. Okay, we got to make sure to keep this thing balanced, though. Remember, here we go. Woo! Look at this. So this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the fun sandboxy stuff that I really like. This is just silly, fun stuff. Um, but like I said, it would be really fun for them to have like another section of this that had like a little bit of a puzzle feel to it. You know, put maybe put like a little fan on here. Uh, it, you know, on the front and back or something and, man, you know, maneuver it around to, like, a certain area, land it on a thing, race it around. I don't know. It would be really, really cool. It's a lot to ask from a game that's only, you know, what, normally six bucks on the Switch or whatever, but still pretty cool. All right, we're going to pop all these and we're going to, we're going to fall pretty haphazardly here. Whoa, pretty fun though. But there it goes. 
<laughs> now that we're off of it, we're super heavy. We're going to pop those and bring it right back down. But yeah, like I said, I was just having fun doing this. Oh, there it goes. See ya. The air raft part of it, there it goes. The air raft part of it is fun, but I was having just as much fun just playing around with this stuff here, quite, quite honestly. Uh, so up there, you could see that uh, th this is a very strange thing. I didn't know that this was this would be the case. Um, but, uh, you know, the big metal ball that we actually sent up there is still up there. So at any point, whenever you want, you know, you could just kind of aim up here and use your, your, your popping mechanism on the gun and just keep popping the balloons that are way up there. I assure you it is popping balloons right now. I don't know if you could tell, but the little balloons, you, you can tell they're getting a little bigger because they're sailing on down. Here it comes. Whoa, that thing went... <laughs> physics, man. Who, do, who doesn't like fun physics stuff in games, man? If you don't, then, I mean, come on. Come on. I like that you could test out the balloons with this kind of stuff here. You can see that, uh, oh, one balloon takes that box away. This one needs... Oh, not quite three. How about a fourth? Fifth one? Oh, it's kind of hovering. Six? There you go. Six, six will take that away very slowly, but it does take it away. We'll give it a seventh one just to help. See you later. Okay, so we'll give this one three, four, five, six. That was seven that we gave the, the other one. Eight. Nine. Okay, it goes up with nine, but very, very slowly. We'll give it a few more just for funsies here. It's going to catch up to the other one. But I liked it from this far away. Just the, it's silly, so silly that you can just like keep adding balloons to it, right? All right, we're going to start popping them here. Let's see if we can hit that small one from here, too. I don't think we did. I think we might have... Nope, it's still way up there. Do we hit it? I think we might have hit it that time. Is it coming down? Everything's coming down. Crush. Crunch. And the last one... It's up there. Oh, I saw it up there somewhere, but I don't see it. Anymore. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can make it out. It's a little tiny orange orange dot. I keep seeing it and then losing it. Where? I don't know. I don't see it. Well, anyway, uh, how about we give the raft another shot here, see if we can get a little further in. See what we can do. Uh, one of the other things to keep in mind, too, is you, you can actually sail pretty far on this thing if you're not worried about tipping it around and, and getting the... Uh... Okay, we're going to start this now. Go. If you're not too worried about leveling it all the time, um... you can actually get pretty far. I don't think we have any hope of getting that circle. I think we may have went over it. Oh, no, we did get it. Okay, cool. I'll take it. That was one of the things I, I meant there, though, is it, that, like, it's it's so weird to me that they chose white for the circles and some of the other stuff because, you know, you, you can barely see it, you know? Bring these up. Okay. No, knocked us off again. I don't know why I keep getting knocked off. Oh, we almost landed on the island, though. Almost landed on the island. Maybe that's what we should try here. Let's do another retry. Let's see if we can land on one of those islands. And I think we'll we'll call it there for tonight. What do you say? Uh, let's see. Uh, one of the other things I did see in the screenshots for the game, and I have not been able to do it yet, is that you can unlock different balloons. Now, uh, the balloons have all kinds of different looks to them. Like, I think there's a pufferfish balloon that you can unlock. I don't know that they have different... Uh, attributes or abilities or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Um, unpause and let's hit this. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, we got thrown off already. Where did it go? There it goes. Goodbye. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna quit quit run and retry. Very finicky sometimes, isn't it? But yeah, I don't know how to unlock the uh, other balloons. I'm assuming it's for going certain distances would be my assumption, but maybe we can find one of these balloons on... Uh, on the island. What do you think? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we're going to try to get this one here. Pop down a little bit. Okay, good. Pop there. Pop there. Okay, we're still looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to try... Oh, jeez. My stand here really throws the weight off. I was sitting there like, oh, yeah, it's compensating for the motor, but actually it might be compensating for us. Oh, so if you land on an island, interesting. Okay, so it does actually kick you off of that. Interesting. Okay, I was not expecting that. All righty. Oh, that's actually better. I turned the sensitivity up there just a, a little bit, so. All right, let's see if we can break our record. I didn't know that uh, we jumped on an island. It was just going to say, sorry. Well, it explains why they put this hole in the middle. They put this hole in the middle because it's easy to... Uh... Let's hit that. There we go. <sighs> Fell off again. That's a little frustrating, I will say that. But they put that hole in the middle so you can kind of see through and see where the circles are when they're coming up. But also, like, it's so you can't stand in the middle. It makes the game tougher. Because if you were to stand in the middle, then your raft would be, you know, weighted properly. So there's there's no way to do that unless you like kind of just stand right here and compensate in the back for a few other balloons. You know, physics. It does bring to mind, though, I, I do wonder how many balloons it would take to actually float a human on a big wooden air raft like this, right? It does make you think. Alright, we got the first one. Pop that one. Sail down just a little bit. Try to do the straight and narrow thing here. Go that way just a little bit. Pop up. Pop up. up keep accidentally hitting the ground pop that one bring it down a little bit actually here we should probably come come up we don't want to hit that rock that looks really scary over there with that <laughs> that rock oh geez yeah we're totally gonna hit that if we don't scoot there we go let's balance this thing out Okay, we're looking we're looking all right. We're looking all right. I'm gonna pop just one of these. Maybe two. Bring that front end down just a little bit. Come on. Where are we at? Fourteen hundred? We're doing we're doing okay here. We're doing okay. Though there our time, I gotta keep pivoting over looking the blue to actually see our time, which is kinda annoying. Oh, come on. Bring that, bring that end up. Why is that side so, like... Oh, I guess maybe... If I pop just one of those. There we go. That's a little more level. Pop that. Pop this one. Where are we at? We got a minute left. If, we, if we're just safe here... For the next minute, I'm definitely going to break my record, which is cool. The unfortunate thing, though, is that, like, you know, I'm not really going into or seeing many of the obstacles that you could be dealing with 
and quite honestly, I'm not sure I want to. I don't. Would we fit down there? I don't think so. I don't think we could swoop down quick enough. And if the raft crashed, like I feel like that's just going to send us <laughs> straight down into the abyss again. So we are going to just kind of hang up here. I beat my record, so we're at 25. We got 30 seconds left though. So if we're gonna if we're gonna continue this going, we gotta move over this way. And we're gonna pop just a couple of these. Especially that one. Okay, we're gonna come up, come up. Up, up. Oh, what happened? I'm not sure what happened. Huh. I guess because we hit the island? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Hmm. It's kind of mysterious and weird. But anyway, hey, we um, we beat our previous long distance by 500 meters. Like, a little low. Actually, what was it before? Almost 700 meters? But quit out to the main menu here. Yeah, if we hit Y, like I was talking about earlier, you can see that there are other balloons. Oh, we did have Colorful available. Oh, okay. And it does actually tell you how what you unlock. So we, we got the Colorful ones now, so we're going to use those. But you can do frozen balloons at 4,000. 6,000, you unlock the lava balloons. Who doesn't like lava balloons? RGB. They must uh, change color, which is pretty cool. A trophy. A mine. Oh, sink 100 mine. Pop 3,000 balloons. Okay, so you can get, get them for popping balloons, too. Fly through 200 rings to get the puffer fish. That's the one I saw. Okay, so they don't, they don't do anything but add, uh, you know, a fun look to your balloon. So that's pretty cool. But now we have colorful ones. So if we go into play now, we should have colorful ones. Yeah, that's better. Nice, change it up a little bit. But yeah, there you go, guys. It's Balloon Flight. The, this is a game that, you know, I'm having uh, a bit more fun with than I truly expected to. If and I don't even mean that as an insult. It just looked like a very simple game. And it is. But it's actually a lot of fun. And, I, you know, I think it's going to kind of attract the, the ones who are more into the physics type games like this so yeah if you're into like kind of messing around with physics and, and playing around with the balloons and stuff like that i think you're going to have a lot of fun with this one uh, especially for right now for two bucks it's not a bad little two dollar game to uh, to just mess around with uh but hey everybody thanks for watching and of course i'll see you all in the next one